Hey Kristen, let's go through this Kaudi Kata cycle. Can you tell me what your challenge is? It would be unbelievable if by September 30th, 2017, we have minimal foleys and optimal foley maintenance, so we achieve CVICU Kaudi less than or equal to 2. Okay, tell me about your focus process. Our focus process right now is compliance with paper protocol for our foley removal, CHG and complete baths, peri care, and second RN witness documentation. What is your target condition, Kristen? Our target condition is that by May 1st, um, each RN will discuss insertion of foley prior to insertion with charge nurse or manager to ensure all components are met. Um, RN will turn in foley paper protocol to charge nurse daily with emphasis on the weekends. Uh, compliance with documentation of second RN witness on insertion. Patients with Foley's will have complete bath, CHGs, and peri care done. Um, and the process metric for that is we want Foley's greater than five days to equal two or less. And Foley's greater than two days um, equal to four. With our lowest repeatable of 29% plus 20 minus 38. Um, 100% always discussed upon insertion, 100% compliance with turning in the paper protocol sheet, 90% compliance with CHG pair care and baths in the two week period that will be measuring this, 100% second RN witness documented with an outcome metric of CAUDI is equal to two. Okay, in your current condition, what is your actual condition now? Um, RNs are inserting foleys but still missing components of the job instruction breakdown. RNs are reverting back to old habits of asking the doctors if it's okay to remove foleys instead of using the nurse-driven protocol. Inconsistent compliance with second RN witness documentation with foley insertion. We're not sure of the uh, percentage of patients with foleys that receive complete bath, CHGs, and care. Um, for that, Yesterday we had 54% foleys with the greater than two day foleys equal to seven and greater than five day foleys equal to four. Today is 37% of patients with foleys, the greater than two day foleys was equal to three and greater than five days still equal to four. Um, <coughs> for April, our lowest repeatable is 33% positive or plus 63 minus 39. 100% um, of foleys were discussed upon insertion our percentages for bath, CHG was 86%, peri care was 85%, complete baths was 89% per our audit tool for the first two weeks in April, 100% second RN witness um, with reminder, uh, well, for the week of 410, it was only 83%, and our call users equal to two. Okay, so what was your last step? Um, our last step was we decided to stop using our paper foley removal protocol sheet. What did you expect? Um, we expected that we had been 100% compliant with this for several target conditions, so we should remain compliant. What actually happened? Um, we went, the unit went from 32% foleys to 54% foleys in less than two weeks, with our greater than two day foleys going from three to seven and our greater than five day foleys um, remaining at four, but we peaked at seven greater than five day foleys on April 8th. And what did you learn? We learned that the staff was reverting back to old habits and asking the doctor if we uh, can remove foleys instead of using the nurse driven protocol. Okay. So I see that um, we've had a big peak from um, yesterday to today. So can you show me kind of what's going on um, with our data that you're collecting? So if you look at um, April the 5th, you can see that we were um, going down on our percentage of foleys. And this is when we stopped using the paper removal, paper foley removal protocol. And then we kind of jumped way back up um, this week. These past two weeks have gone up. And even if you look, our greater than two day foleys we were way down and we've gone up as well. And then our greater than five day foleys, we peaked up here and then we've kind of stabilized around three to four 
So what obstacles do you think are now preventing you from reaching the target condition? Um, for unsure of inconsistent use of Foley removal protocol staff, by staff increases number and length of Foley's. We're unsure of bringing staff to the board will decrease use and length of Foley's. Unsure why staff does not correctly chart CHG baths and peri-care. Unsure why inconsistent documentation of the second RN witness for Foley insertion. Unsure if staff is aware Foley should be emptied before transferring, transporting patient off the floor. Unsure if other floors are following the Foley removal protocol. Unsure if too many options in the VOC under bath contribute to inconsistent documentation of baths. Um, unsure if staff knows when to do the urinalysis with reflex upon admission, transfer, or reinsertion. Unsure if staff is correctly giving CHG baths. Unsure if patients with Foley's are getting complete baths. And unsure if charge nurse filling out the critical care audit tool um, incorrectly could lead to falsely lower percentages of compliance with baths, CHG, and care care. Okay. Which one are you addressing now? Um, we're going to focus on the inconsistent use of Foley removal protocols by staff, increasing the number and length of Foley's. And we're measuring that by uh, the paper Foley protocol being filled out and turned into the manager daily on all patients with Foley's. Okay, so what is your next step? So our next step is we will um, reinitiate our paper Foley removal protocol every day. Okay, and um, what do you expect will happen? We expect decreased length of Foley's in that patient. Okay, so I see that you have um, this mark as exploratory, but <clears throat> it kind of seems like this is more of a go and see. We're just going to reinitiate the paper protocol, and we're just going to kind of see if it decreases the length of stay. Is there anything else that we can do to kind of make this more exploratory? Um, we probably could look and see the acuity of our patients during these two weeks and see if we had a high acuity and if that's why the police weren't coming out or if it really was because we weren't following our Okay, so protocol. we'll go ahead and we'll add that to um, our what you expect. All right, Kristen, so now what do you expect now that we've made this more of an exploratory experiment? Um, I do think that we have had high acuity on our patients the past few weeks, so I do think we'll find um, that we had high acuity of patients for this two-week period. All right, and then when can we go and see what we have learned from taking this stuff? Um, we should be able to research all of this today, probably. See you this afternoon. Amanda, before we start the second coaching cycle, um, do you want Kristen to be in the room or do you want her to step out for a couple of No, she can stay. Okay. Um, how do you think that the coaching cycle went? I think it went really well. I think we um, have found a good um, thing to kind of focus in. And I think now that we have made this more exploratory instead of a go and see, I think we're working closer to her knowledge threshold than we were before. So you just answered the second question um, of the, is the learner working at the threshold of knowledge? Um, because before you coached her, it was more of a go and do, but afterwards, it's definitely a better experiment. Okay, so um, what did you want to pay particular attention to going into this coaching cycle? Um, I just wanted to see um, what type of experiment Kristen was going to do just to make sure um, that we moved from the go and see to uh, a true experiment. Um, okay, and I made I made a couple just a couple of notes, but I think that um, you did a great job as the coach um, helping Kristen enhance the next step. And also, um, one of the things that I wrote down that I wanted to maybe see is the other factors that were contributing to the increased number of Foley's. Um, like not only the acuity of the Foley's, because I do think there are probably other factors going on also. So like maybe taking the sheet that we went through yesterday and when we had 54% Foley's, how many of those Foley's were we actually able to remove yesterday? Um, and also, um, one of the things that we had discussed was 
starting to look at specific trends like are there particular nurses who are consistently inserting the Foley's or um, also not using the removal protocol. Um, but overall, I think that y'all have done a great job with this. Okay, what do you want to pay particular attention to in the next coaching cycle with Kristen? Okay, um, in addition to finding out the acuity of our patients, I want us to go back and see how when we reinitiate the paper protocol, um, does that actually decrease the length of our Foley? So we're making a change in our process where we have tried this, we knew it worked, then we stopped it, it didn't work. So we're just going to try this process again and see if we get the results that we had before and that will make it an exploratory.